hi friends welcome to oracle tutorials in this video we are going to see character manipulation function in string this function in string finds a numeric position of the first occurrence of a named character in string performs a case sensitive search here we can see the syntax of this function in string instr then uh, the parameters are string then substring then we have optional parameters such as start position and the end appearance. We will see each parameter uh, from this uh, syntax. First one is uh, string parameter. In this string, we are going to search the position of the given substring. Next parameter is a substring. Here we have to specify the substring to search in the given string. Coming to the next parameter that is a start position. Uh, this is an optional field where the search will start in the string the first position in the string is one also keep in mind uh, if we not specify the start position then the default value is one suppose the start position is negative then the in string function counts the start position from the end of the string and searches towards the beginning and returns the position of the given substring when we go through the example it will be more clear Next parameter is nth appearance. This is also an optional field which gives the specified appearance of the given substring. Suppose we omit this, then the default value of this parameter is also 1. We will see some examples so that uh, this function in string will be more clear. Here we can see the query select instr oracle tutorial. This is the uh, string then we given the substring as a from dual so this query is equal to uh, this query select instr then the string oracle tutorial the substring a then we can see the start position as one then the end appearance one from dual here we can see this oracle tutorial is the string then uh, the substring is a and here we can see the start position it's one in the second query and the end appearance also uh, we given as a 1. As we discussed, the default value of start position and the end appearance by default is 1. So the result of these two queries are same. Here we can see the output, it's 3. So how we got this result 3? So here we can see the substring we given as A. And in the string we can see this A at the uh, third position so we get the result as 3 consider this query select instr oracle tutorial and here we can see the substring we given as uh, uppercase a from dual uh, we cannot see this uh, substring a i mean this capital letter a in our string then what will be the result here we can see the output it will be 0 so keep in mind the function in string returns a numeric value only. The first position in the string is always 1 and if the substring is not found in the string then this function will return 0. We will execute the query and we will see the result uh, in our Oracle Express application. Here we will give select function is uh, instr and we have to give the string Oracle space tutorial then we will uh, specify the substring here we will give a from dual we'll run this query and here we can see the result it's three so o is uh, first this is second one and third one is a this same query we can uh, rewrite With these parameters start position and the end appearance comma one comma one then we will run this query and here we can see the same result now we will change the sub query and we will see the result here we are going to give uppercase a and we will run this query 
and here we can see the result if zero we will see some more examples uh, by changing the parameters here we will give a comma three so this is the start position we will run this query and here we are getting the result three suppose we are going to give here four a comma four so the start position is four that means uh, it will start from this uh, c then we can see the position of a here we will execute it and we will see the result here we can see the result it's 14 we will see another query here we are going to give one comma the nth appearance we are going to give uh, two that means it will start from the uh, first character and we have to find the second a second a here we can see that the position is a 14 we will run this query even we can count it one two three four five six space also we have to uh, count it seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so the position of this a is a fourteen right so we will run this query and here we can see the result we will see one more query here we are going to uh, change this uh, start position as a 4 that means we are going to uh, start from 1 2 3 4 from this uh, C and uh, the second appearance of A but here we can see only one A so it will return 0 we will run this query and we will see the result here we can see the result here we can see the query what we have seen just now uh, select INSTR Oracle tutorial comma substring A then the start position 4 from dual here the start position is uh, 4 uh, the, here we can see uh, we have to start from CLE space tutorial uh, there we have to find uh, this letter A we can see uh, this uh, A is at the uh, 14th position so we get the result as uh, 14 now we will see some examples with the start position as negative here we can see the query select INSTR Oracle tutorial then the uh, substring A and here we can see the start position be given as minus 3 from dual we know that uh, when uh, the start position is negative then the function in string counts the start position from the end of the string and searches towards the beginning and returns the position of the given substring here we given the start position as minus 3 so we have to start from right to left uh, in this uh, string oracle tutorial and we can uh, see the substring a at the third position so we get the result as 3 we will execute and we will see the result select in string oracle tutorial here we given the substring as 4 and here we are going to give the start position as minus 4 from dual we will run this query and here we can see the result it shows 3 because we uh, started from the end of this uh, string 1 2 3 4 that means from here uh, to the beginning and here we can see the a so this a is at the uh, third position 1 2 3 so we get the result as 3 we will see some more queries instead of 4 we will give minus 1 and we will run this query and here we can see it shows 14 because we have to start from uh, this uh, end of this uh, character and here we can see the a so this a is at the uh, 14th position so that's why it shows 14 now we will specify the end appearance and we will try a query so here minus 1 comma 2 so here we have to get the result the position of this a it's 3 
and here we can see the result now we will see another query here we are going to make minus 3 comma 2 so we have to go to the position 3 from the end 1 2 and 3 so we have to start from here uh, to the beginning and we have to find the uh, second appearance of a here we can see one a but we don't have the second a here so we will get the answer uh, i mean the result as zero we will execute and we will see that here we can see the result finally we will implement this in string on our existing table uh, employees we will see a query before that we will see our table select star from table name is employees and here we can see the details of our table employees now we will make a query select mb name comma or function instr of mb name here we are going to give the substring a from employees we will run this query and we will see the result here we can see the result in eric there is no a so it returns zero in jacob here we can see the second position it's a so it shows two in jackson the second position we have a joseph there is no a edward yes one two three and four fourth position we can see a right coming to the question of the day select instr of oracle tutorial for beginners comma e comma seven comma three from dual what is the output for this query please write your answer in the comment section right in this video we have seen character manipulation function in string friends if you have any doubt any suggestions please comment below next video we will see the character manipulation function substring so we will meet again with the next video thank you